Jack and the Beanstalk. I'm going to share my PowerPoint with you and we're going to have a little think about what Jack saw when he reached the top of the Beanstalk. So here's our PowerPoint. So let's have a little think. So here's a picture of Jack. He's climbing up the beanstalk. It's ever so tricky. And finally, he reaches the top of the beanstalk. But what's in front of his eyes? What does Jack find? I've got some ideas for you, but they, you don't have to write or draw about these. These are just some ideas to get your imagination thinking. So let's have a little look. Hmm, what did he find when he got to the top? The castle. Well, we do know that he went into the castle. He went through the castle doors. But what was the castle like? Was it huge? Cold. Often castles didn't have much heating. It might have been really cold. Was it scary for him? What did it look like? Do you think it looked like any of these castles? Do you think it had turrets? Do you think it had big stone steps? Have a think about what the castle may have looked like. Perhaps you would like to describe the giant's wife. What did the giant's wife look like? Was she evil or was she a friendly character? Now, I've popped a little picture into my PowerPoint here. Could this have been the giant's wife? How would you describe her? Big teeth, poker straight hair, really, really large glasses and a slight piggy-like nose. Perhaps your giant's wife looked different to this though. Perhaps that's what you'd like to put at the top of your beanstalk. Or would you like to draw or write about the hen? Was the hen a normal looking hen? Or was the hen actually gold in itself, like the top one on the right hand side of the screen here? Perhaps you would like to draw your very own hen and write some adjectives, some describing words around the outside of it. So in your book, you need to look for your sheet. It's called Top of the Beanstalk. That's where you're going to put all this information. You can draw it if you want in the cloud. If you find the cloud is too small, you can add it anywhere on the page. You could even put some adjectives, some words around the outside. So if you wanted to write cold, if you were drawing the castle and you can't spell all of it, could you do the k at the start of it? Or if you think that's a bit easy and you want to push yourself and try really hard to write sentences, perhaps you could draw a picture and write a sentence or two by the side of it to explain something that Jack saw when he got to the top of the beanstalk. Have fun and can't wait to see you again.